What's up, everybody? I'm Tim. I'm Chris. This is Evil Penguin Games, and today we get to do an unboxing for you. We get to do Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost, it's a investigative game. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, how many players is it? Uh, two to five, I believe. Two yeah, to five. Two to five. Takes about 30 minutes to an hour to play. Judging from what I've seen of the contents of the box uh, in like the pre-records, it's uh, pretty sure half of that is uh, setting the board up. So massive. Pretty excited to open it up and see. But with you, with this, you get to be fairy tale characters like Alice from Alice Wonderland or Aladdin or Beowulf. Beowulf. I love it. It's like, and that's how they're listed. It's like yeah, Alice, Alice Aladdin, Aladdin, Beowulf. Beowulf. And then, like, many, many others. Many others. Hercules, Merlin, Perseus, Billy Goat Gruff, which I didn't know was a person, and Red Riding Hood. Not Little Red Riding Hood. This is, like, like down the road. She's already, like, like middle-aged. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm Red Riding Hood. <laughs> okay, did maybe. she become a smoker? Man, you got a wolf? You get eaten by a wolf and de-gutted from it? You become a smoker. That just happens. Fair enough. <laughs> Speaking of cutting open... It's cut open this box. <laughs> it's like I'm in danger. Alright, so we forgot to mention this is from Green Feet Games. And uh, the protagonist of this whole game is the Water Witch. Ooh. Right there on the cover. Water Witchy. Yeah, so let's try to open her. Oh, hey, for once this slides off easy. Ooh. Water Witch. So it looks to be... Just, oh, we got your, looks to be, of course, your rules and such. So that's always cool. I'll read those wrong someday. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got some tokens here. Let's let open this. Don't you do it. I'm going to do it. Why do you do it? Well, Just, you go ahead. You don't mind me. So, let's see. So, contrary to what I assumed, uh, Red Riding Hood is still what looks to be little. Um, but I, that voice in my head is still canon. Everything is sealed in, like, these neoprene bags. So there's all your characters. Uh, Beowulf definitely stands out, like, a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> everyone else is like, yeah, like, I'm a, like, I'm a fairy tale character. Beowulf's like, I just killed the thing. I will say, Aladdin does not look young. No, Aladdin, Aladdin looks like he's been through some stuff. Like... This is, this is like, like, Aladdin 4, Aladdin joins a gang. <laughs> like another one. <laughs> well, this is a very interesting art. I really like, I, I yeah. Perseus is interesting, but his here. is like, it, this is, these all pop out. Here, I'm gonna, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Perseus is pretty cool. I actually really enjoy the Alice one. If I can, get these out of here, there we go. A cool look at Hercules there. He's got a bear pelt. Well, that's one of the uh, that's one of the labors that he had to, isn't it? Oh no, he had to kill a lion. He had to he had to kill a lot of things. Because I only remember that because he throws Scar's pelt in the movie. <laughs> like in one of the labors, he's like, yeah, it's Scar. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, these are these are the things I know. So here we okay. So earlier we had the got some punch outs here. Get a little bit closer. It looks like castle. So I don't know what these would signify. I know, like I do know that you do a lot of investigation in here. Like you go around the board and then uh, try to uh, get clues and like you write down things to deduct. Yeah, Sent and something something that I'm you eh, eh, words are hard that we didn't mention. Like everyone has like a once per game like superpower. <laughs> like Alice's is once per game locking a clue tile for free. Oh, yeah, I actually didn't know any of that yet. <laughs> Beowulf is just kick another player out of the game. Made that up. It's a draw one additional truth seeker card. Whatever those are. So the one thing about this game that's very interesting is the shape of the board. So it's really hard to see, so I'm going to get really close up. But you can see it's got arrows pointing to different sections on the board there. So, And the, I don't know... 
what exactly that signifies in the rules, but and speaking then of other side is just generic. So I'm assuming these are like cards you get in a pile or something like and that. Speaking shape of the board. Oh mother of God! Here it gonna, is. No, we're not. We're gonna pass. We're, we're, gonna, we're okay. gonna pass for a couple seconds because I think we're gonna need a whole lot more room. Like we'll, okay. we'll have to clear everything out and then. Ooh, shiny things. Okay. Good to know that all this stayed in position. <laughs> yep. Bags. Rocks. Shiny rocks. Shiny. Oh, oh my god. This is a dice. This is huge. Oh, wow. This is not small. It's got... It doesn't... Uh, so it's got symbols and crystals and empty sides. So not your traditional D6. It's also the size so of like four D6. So. And then... Oh, they're shiny. Five has a scroll... Two has crystals. I've got two crystals. Hey, crystals. And then there... Here we go. And three has, like, looks like a coin and crystals. So, I don't know. Standard plastic cubes, but very large. Normally, you get these a little bit smaller, but... Everything in this game is turning out to be pretty big so far. Not always bad. So far I am really liking the quality of the product so far. Cardboard punch outs have been thick and sturdy. Ooh, pencils. Uh, everything seems really nice about yeah. this. The little Kind of, did, did you mention that oh, yeah. this is basically fairy tale clue? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, well, this I, is, I may not have. This is the, the basically the fairy tale clue like envelope. Yeah. So this is if you've ever if you've ever played the game Clue growing up, this is a fantasy version on steroids from what I've got what I gather. This is a... um, this is the envelope in the beginning that you put the information in, and that was what the clues that you have to figure out and deduct before the witch uh, takes over the world. I have two tiny black cubes. No idea what they're for, but I have them. Uh, looks to be just, wait. These are character holders, like little character holders. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, none of them stayed in place. Um, <laughs> but wow. Well, People, well, pal. minis. Yeah. Now this is the standard edition. This right. is not the premium with metal pieces. Literary Riding Hood. We moved in shipping. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get, let's get uh, let's... Hercules here with his big old club and bear bear skin mask Got or Merlin hood. Petite loving Red Riding Hood. And Beowulf, who looks like he skipped leg day. <laughs> yeah, Alice. Um. Okay, so he isn't a character. He's literally just a goat. I mean, he is a character. I mean, he's a you... character, but he's a goat. But he's he's a goat character. I, I'm not say I'm not discouraging his characterness. He's not all that bad. I'm out. But Perseus is in. I have Aladdin. And I wish you hadn't said that. Cards. Yeah, we've got a few... We've got a whole stack here of small cards. Looks like... Hmm. So the red ones, it's got different symbols. Like flames or number of flames. Huh. I'm not entirely sure there. Interesting. Yeah. Mine are, in fact, impossible to open. And then, there seems like there's a lot of symbols. So, like, you've got... Here, you've got other uh, blue ice spikes or something therein. Now... And then, some of these have writing on them, too. Alright, got my cards open. <laughs> my card, the cards I grabbed, look to be, like... That's why I have weapons... And then a villain. So I have Big Bad Wolf. Oh, that's cool. They're all like the 
the cloak and visibility. Oh, you know, Excalibur, like you have. Uh, oh, that's just these are. I just I'm really loving the artwork for all this. Whoa. That is not what I assume the Jabberwocky looks like, but that is what the Jabberwocky looks like. <laughs> I guess, like, my only visual representation of the Jabberwocky is from, like, the really, I don't know how everyone feels about it, uh, Alice in Wonderland movie. Like, from a few years back. Like, the live-action one. Well, that one wasn't bad. I never saw it, so. Or I did see it, but, like, I don't, I don't think I remember making an actual decision on how it was. Undecided. Ooh. Okay. So, wow, this is a big old stack. So, this is your, uh, your checkoff sheet. That's nice. Yeah, so, there we've got weapons, villains, shows, looks like uh, just a key for everything. So, huh. hmm. And I think it's, so yeah, so it's with this, these are, you know, just like in deduction games, you cross off the big bad wolf and the hunter's axe to help take out the, and find out where the uh, water witch is, I believe. All right. So, looks like we have got everything in here looked at, but now I think we need to try to fun fold the board. Did you say fun fold? Fun fold. I really think you're going to want to move everything off this table. You've already started I am to... Uh, I am throwing caution to the wind here, Chris. And stuff I'm saying, on the let's floor. let's do it. Okay. So, this is a square. You ever done a Rubik's Cube? This is not what it will end in shape. So, here we're going to do fold number one. It's the Transformers always copyrighted. Wah, 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 wah. And that version isn't. Okay. Whatever okay, we've you got, just made. Got two two angles. I'm okay. Not, I'm not helping you with this. Okay. So then we do this. I. This a genius did this. Okay. Oh oh. And not a genius okay. is undoing it. Okay. Okay. Theoretically, this game can be played alone. Ah, my face. But two people have to be there to unfold the board. And I'm just proving that. Is it double sided? Oh my god, it is. Okay. Okay, so. I made that heart with love. And you broke it <laughs> with incompetence. Okay. I did it. Yeah, a oh, corner. A I'm, corner I'm, of I'm, that. I'm, I'm going to need you to okay, get the, uh, okay, the camera. Okay, okay. okay so I hold on a second. Get the camera. Just, just pick it up and, and hold it. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta get we'll do it live! Okay, here we go, boys. That this is, is huge. Put like I need something right. for like scale here. Um, <laughs> grab, hey, grab one of the world's most boring dice behind you. I can This is longer than my arm, Jeebus. Well then, this is huge. That's way too big. <laughs> well, I think if we didn't have anything else on the table, we could do oh, it. Yeah, I mean, you think? Did Did somebody say maybe we should clear off the table? Maybe remove the camera. Change things around. I mean, yes. I but did. I know I did. Is that right? Ah, eh, close enough. <laughs> Alright, sitting back down. Alright. What's the other side look like? Now now I want to see. Now I'm intrigued. Okay, so oh now he wants to help. Well, okay. I didn't say I wanted to help, I said oh, I'm intrigued. Okay. There's okay, a difference. So then that's side one. Let's go to side two. Is it different? Please help. <laughs> I can't actually tell if it's different. I didn't get a good look at the other one. <laughs> I think the col I think it is a little different. Like this is like warm warmer colors and green. Oh, neat. Is it? I think it is. Um, I think it's the same thing on both sides. May maybe. I think it's the same thing on both sides. That's yeah, it might be the same thing. Okay. <laughs> so anyway. That was a I really want to put this like this looks it sounds <laughs> so interesting like just the idea of because again you know i have such a short attention span that you have to immediately catch my like like my attention with a game so you're just like medieval clue i'm like go on <laughs> fairy tale clue i'm listening yeah it it just look the the board is huge it looks like there's a lot going on around the edges and you've got cards in the middle 
but it looks really cool. I'm yeah, it's, yeah, I mean like like artwork alone looks just super awesome. Like yeah, and there's like little things down here which I guess are down here on yours like little you know like tunnels or and, yeah. But and it's cool cuz there's like there's ways that don't go anywhere. Like so like like right here, you know, you can maybe take a detour to get some more I, you you have to realize that I I mean I don't know if you do but I don't look at it, most of this stuff before he gets it I'm just like cool what are we doing <laughs> so we are going to read the rules and figure out how to play this camera's down there you can't see what I'm yeah, doing yeah nobody can see what you're doing I know I'm doing it that's all that matters but you know what he is what he should be doing now. Hitting the like, comment, and subscribe. That's actually multiple things. But you should do all those things. He's saying you should do all those things. Yes. I heard he did all those things. Yeah. So, like the videos. Please, helps out. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Just spread the word. We, uh, we genuinely like doing these videos. And we are just starting to hit a stride with everything. And... Just really having fun doing it. We are going to do this no matter what because I love tabletop, I love games, and if you want to help us out and help the tabletop community, go to our Patreon. Our Patreon slash Evil Penguin Games, as little as $2 a month, it helps us contribute to everything on Kickstarter. All of the proceeds will go to Kickstarter, various RPG projects, various board games. We're going to do video, more videos on them. We're going to do some more Let's Plays. We will, you know, hopefully get a video out soon of doing a play on this one. And just have some fun. You need a wide-angle lens camera. But, you know, we'll work on that. But. Tim. Let's play this. Let's go play this. But first, I got a mess with no! you. No! Why do you, why do you, yeah, one foot through the table. That is your fault. I don't have to pick this place up. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!